Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining with me this morning as we have a little time together. Uh, although it is online and virtually, we're still having some time together and very grateful for you coming together with me here. I don't know if you can see what I've got. I have a bar of soap. Now, soap used to be made and, and has been made by mixing a bunch of ingredients together in a great big cauldron type uh, container and mixing it and mixing it and mixing it and then pouring it out and forming it into bars of soap. Well, there was one occasion where a soap maker, well over a hundred years ago, was in charge of the machine that was mixing up this great amount of, of materials for making soap bars. And he forgot to turn the machine off when he left at night. He arrived back in the morning to continue working and he discovered that he'd left the machine on all night and it had continued stirring and stirring and stirring everything up so that all the impurities eventually disappeared and he was left with the purest form of soap. It was so pure that the soap floated on top of the water. He was astounded. And that soap is called, and it's written right here, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, it's very faint, I-V-O-R-Y. A bar of ivory soap, and it's so pure, they say that it floats on water. Well, let's discover if it really floats on water. There's the name right in the bar of soap, ivory soap. So we're going to see if this floats. I've never done this before, so we're going to find out together whether, do you think this would float? I mean, you can feel it, it's weighty. It, do you think it's going to float? Hmm. And I'm going to put it in this tub of water here to see what happens. Ha! It floated! Amazing! I don't know if I can show you that. I'll try and... and oh no, you can't see it very well. Um, even if I... Even if I hold this up, try to hold it at an angle without pouring water everywhere, but it's hard. There's the bar of soap right at the top. Uh, you can't see it, can you? No. And we can't untouch the, the camera very easily, so you're just going to have to take my word for it, or you can ask your parents to go up and buy a bar of soap, uh, ivory soap, it has to be ivory soap. I went into uh, a, a store to find a bar of ivory soap and I asked the person working there, I can't remember the name of the bar of soap that the old commercials say floats on water. And she looked at me like I was strange and said, I haven't a clue what you're referring to. So then I walked through the aisle of all the soap bars and I found it over there, ivory soap. So maybe if, you, if you're not sure, if you can, if you believe me, this is actually floating, go ask your mom or dad to go buy a bar of ivory soap when they're next at the store and try it yourself at home. But then you don't waste the soap, you have to use it every time you have a bath or a shower. Well, this sort of pure soap, ivory soap, oh, it's all slippery now, reminds me of something that Jesus talked about in the Gospels, in Matthew's Gospel, especially in chapter 5, what's called the Beatitudes, starting in verse 5 through 12. And Jesus talks about who are the happiest people and who are the people that, that bring the greatest joy and happiness to God's heart. And he says, those are the people who are pure in heart. Like this ivory soap is so pure that it floats. The pure in heart, child, beloved children of God, are those that have Jesus in the center of their hearts, in the center of their lives, that Jesus is the most important thing for them. And they are loving life and loving God with their whole being. And that's the goal of our lives as followers of Jesus Christ. So let's pray together. Pray during this whole week that God would help us to see how we can have a pure heart. Let's pray for just a second. Father God, we thank you for your incredible love in our lives. We thank you for our families. We thank you that in the, even in the midst of this, this bizarre and different season of, of a, a pandemic in our world, we thank you that you are always with us and you never let us go. We pray, oh God, that you would help us each day, one day at a time, this week before us. That you would help us to understand and see how you give us a pure heart. Help us to focus on you, Lord, each and every day. As we, as we interact with our family, as we interact with maybe some friends, and as we prepare to go back to school, Lord, that your blessing would be upon each one of the boys and girls from our church and beyond. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Thank you so much for, for being with me this morning. God's peace and love be with you.